Hello and welcome to Stockwatch presented by me, Evan Lucas for Go Market Securities. As always, please, a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. No rely upon it as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore no rely upon it as any form of advice at all. It's just general in nature only. So Qantas has finally got on and announced its long-awaited frequent flyer program. The repositioning has prevented the $500 million buyback that was supposed to commence in the first half of 24. And that therefore means that now we can finally get on with it. Having a look at it, the market sees that it's going to have a slight impact to the downside. So from 500 to 550 million down to 500 to 525 million on earnings with the changes that are coming in. But looking into FY25 and beyond, it jumps up by about 10%. So expectations, according to the company, will now be 550 to 578 million in terms of where it sits. In terms of the loyalty business, it's probably a step in the right direction. We knew this was coming. We knew that they had been clearly gearing up to the idea of improving the overall experience, considering if you look at the goodwill part of their balance sheet and what goes inside of that, it's been absolutely battered through 2023 after all the issues around the previous CEO, the way the board is handled, and the overall brand degradation is the right term that has happened from it. The implementation will take a bit of time, but overall from what we can see in the numbers, it does work. And it's been again, a sort of a net net zero movement with regards to the overall impact for Qantas, which will probably means it's a better scenario longer term, because again, the international arm is the boat that most people have been asking the questions about whether or not they could get that going. And considering that overall, the business has been underperforming US peers with the share price at the current level, it may also be an accretive thing on a longer term basis, because Qantas can start legging back up on what is a better experience overseas than it has been here. But it's good that it's finally here. It is good that it's finally been enacted. And now we can actually get on on Qantas, getting back to what it did, which is becoming the brand most people wanted to be associated with and being one of the razor thin best margin businesses in the aviation space that was out there all the way up to COVID.